Hello again, world. It's Ben with Glimmer TV, I guess. Uh, today I've got a fun little trick for you that I was uh, worked out after discussing with another user online. Basically, we have your Dream Screen Sidekick here, which is a nice little device running on a ESP8266 wireless board, which is, you know, the friendly wireless controller for all things and also happens to be able to run WLED so uh, what we wanted to do is hack this thing so instead of running the dream screen software it's just running regular old WLED so Glimmer can control it you can control it from your smartphone you can control it from the computer you don't need the dream screen app anymore and it integrates with Glimmer TV if I didn't already say that so a lot of people were talking about the board on these things and how, you know, you could solder pin headers on there and flash it with a controller and all that. And I'm like, man, that's really messy. We shouldn't have to do all that. So I poked through the code for the Dream Screen software a little bit and discovered that, well, when they do a firmware update, they're really just talking to a web page with a password and a username and sending a file over. So I looked through the code a little bit. I reversed out the path and it's incredibly simple so I'm gonna teach the world today how to hack their sidekicks completely wirelessly using just your laptop and the file I've created so I'm not gonna whip my phone out here but basically if you're in the dream screen application you open the settings for your device so this assumes that you have it on your Wi-Fi and you're connected to it at least uh, if you can't connect to it via Wi-Fi you're probably gonna to need to do some soldering anyway in the device settings we click on update and reset here and that will take us to the settings page where we can find the IP address uh, in this case it's 192.168.1.63 for any other device you could find it through the app or through whatever your method so once we get that we just go to 192.168.1.63 slash firmware Going to ask us for a username and password that is admin and ds admin capital ds lowercase everything else 714 lab 714 is what the 714 is which is the company name that made these things we can save it we don't need to now we pick a file uh, i created a custom wled firmware for this already right here this will be available on my github which I'll put a link in the description to and we hit update watch that puppy fire over to our sidekick here Did I actually click update oh yeah it's rolling here there success rebooting and you might be wondering what's special about the firmware I made. Well, this is an analog device, so it needs the red, green, blue colors sent to pins 14, 13, 12, respectively. And that's it. Just that easy. It's rebooted. It's running this blinding yellow light, which might might not be able to see the screen anymore. And that stupid power connector I need to fix some other way. But that's a different video. So now we can go back to the IP address for our software. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. We need to connect to it first. So we go to our Wi-Fi settings, WLEDAP. Here we go. That's our new WLED sidekick. I'm plugging my network settings off camera. Still here. Save and connect. That's it. It is connected back to my normal access point. Let's see, back to our IP address. Now you may need to refine this if it's uh, some other type of light, or if you haven't connected it or you have a different network, the IP may change. So you may have to rediscover it, but most likely you won't. Uh, and there we go. Green, blue, purple, red, just works, just streams. You can load this up from your uh, computer or phone and uh, there's a WLED application as well where it'll save these things. So, you know, I prefer this to the Dream Screen application. And like I said, now that we have WLED on here, this is compatible with Glimmer just like everything else. And that's it. A couple minutes, hack your lights for life. Enjoy. <laughs> 